Hi everyone, my name is Sarah Cover, and I'm one of the program managers with Heart Math Tutoring. Today, I'm going to show you how to play an activity from our Combinations to 10 notebook. The name of the activity is Finding Combos Card Game, and the materials you will need are a deck of cards, a sheet of paper, and a pencil, pen, or anything you can write with. So please pause the video and take a moment to gather your materials, and I'll meet you back here. Welcome back. We are now going to learn how to play the Finding Combos card game, in which we're going to practice finding combinations for our focus number. So since this game is from our Combinations to 10 notebook, the first thing I want to do is decide on my focus number. In this notebook, we work through all the activities with one number at a time. That is our focus number. For this activity, the focus number is what we are choosing to focus on as we work to become experts at all the combinations that make up that number. Today, I'm going to say our focus number is eight, and I'm going to write it on my sheet of paper so I can remember that is the focus number I'm working on, and I'll be practicing all the combinations that make eight. Next, I'm going to sort my deck of cards. I need to remove all of the cards that are higher than my focus number, so that means removing all the nines, tens, as well as all of the face cards. I will keep the aces because today the ace will act as the number one during the game. Now all of these are removed, so I'll put them to the side since I won't be needing them. And now with my stack of cards, I'm going to split them in half because I'll only need to use half of the cards for this game. Then I'm going to spread the cards in front of me face up so I can see all of them. The first part of the game is to find all the combinations of two cards that add up to eight. I want to see if I can do this without counting. When I identify two cards that combine to make eight, I will put them together as a pair. For example, here I have a five, and here I have a three. I know that those combine to make eight, so I'll put them together as a pair and turn them over. Let's look for another one. Let's see, here I have four, and here I have four as well. And I know that those are another one of my combinations to eight, four and four. So again, I'll put them together as a pair and then flip them over. With the rest of the cards in front of you, you'll make all the combinations to eight pairs that you can and turn the pairs over. Go ahead and find your combinations and I'll finish mine and we'll come back and see what to do for part two. All right, I've finished making all of my combinations. I do have a few cards that didn't have a number left to match with to make a combination to eight, which is all right. I will just put those cards to the side. I do have some eights left, which remember is my focus number. I'm going to keep these eight cards and turn them over because they are part of a combination. We'll talk about the other piece in a minute. Part two of this game has us look at half of the pair and then try to figure out which piece of the combination is hiding without counting. In order to do that, we're going to flip over all of the top cards. Let's look at our first pair. This pair has a two showing. So what card must be hiding underneath it? What is the hidden piece of this combination to eight? If you said six, you are correct. Two and six is one of our combinations to eight. Let's try another one. What right about here? Here we have a five showing. So what must be hiding underneath it? What is the hidden piece of this combination to eight? If you said three, you are correct. Five and three is another one of our combinations to eight. To finish this part of the game, for each of the piles, you will look at your top card that is flipped over and see if you can identify what the hidden card underneath must be. Remember, all of your pairs of cards must equal eight when put together. All 
All right, I finished flipping over all of my cards and figuring out what the hidden part is in my combinations. I also have these eight cards. Remember, we kept those in because they are a focus number and are part of their own combination. So let's think about this. If the top card is eight and there is no card underneath it, what must my other part be? What does that mean the missing piece is? If you said the missing piece must be zero, you are correct. 8 plus 0 make 8, so that is also one of our combinations. For part 3, our last part of the game, I'm going to pick three of these pairs to use. I think I'm going to use 5 and 3, 7 and 1, and then 6 and 2. The rest of my cards I'll put to the side because I'm finished with them. And then I'm going to, going to turn the bottom card face down again in my pairs. Then I'm going to use my piece of paper and pen because in this part of the game, we get to think about all those missing pieces we just found and practice writing equations for our combinations and focus number. For example, with this pair, when six is showing, what was hidden? If you remember, it was two. The way we write this as an equation is six plus blank equals eight. And so this is what this pair looks like as an equation. I will fill in the two here because I know this is my missing piece of the combination. So six plus two equals eight. I'm going to write equations for the two remaining pairs I have, and you can write the equations for the pairs you picked. Okay, so then I have here one plus blank equals eight. And if you remember, this is seven. So I'm going to fill in seven for my equation. And then my third equation, I have three plus blank equals eight. And if you remember for this one, three and five combined to make up eight. So I'll fill in five here. And that's it. Great thinking on identifying all those missing parts of your combinations. You can play the Finding Combos card game by yourself or with a friend, sibling, or parent. You each will use half of the deck and spread out your half to see who has the most combinations for your focus number. Then, in part two, you can have each other try to guess what the hidden piece of the combination is for each other's pairs. Remember, each time you play this game, you can choose a different focus number. Again, your focus number will be a number between 6 and 10, and that means you're focusing on the combinations that make up that number. For whatever focus number you choose to play with, you will want to remove the cards in the deck that are higher than your focus number before you begin to play. Thank you for following along. I hope you enjoyed playing the Finding Combos card game. If you have any questions or need additional support, please check out the resources page seen here.